Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. Today I decided I'm gonna share with you a little craft I made a few weeks ago. If you've checked my Instagram, you've probably seen it. I called it my chromatic garland. It's not very complicated. It's a very simple craft, but it could be also adapted into different types of garland. And you know, we always need a garland. You might be renovating a new room and you want to add a little something colorful to it. Maybe a birthday or a party is coming up, so that's also a good reason to have a garland. Or sometimes, like in this case, it's also a little tool to learn about primary and secondary colors. It's not a very complicated craft, it only requires a few materials, so follow me in the next video to learn more about how to make it. You will need blue, red, and yellow acetate sheets, a whole bunch of at least two inches in diameter, some thread, a sewing machine. Don't have a whole bunch like that? No worries. Simply grab a permanent marker a pair of scissors, and something round that will work as a template for circles. Don't have a sewing machine? Don't worry. I'll show you a simple alternative at the end of this tutorial that requires a simple standard manual hole punch and some string. The first step is to cut circles with a minimum of 2 inches in diameter. You want to have a minimum of 8 circles of each color. Step 2. For the chromatic garland, you will want to create combination of three colors, but make sure to change your combination every time. For instance, I will start sewing with blue, yellow, and red, which means I'll place things in a different order for the next one. Let's say yellow, blue, and red. Step number 3. Pick a color of thread. I used black because I wanted something neutral, but I also wanted a bit of contrast from the colors. Make sure to use a spacing of at least 2 mm between the stitches to avoid breaking the acetate with the sewing needle. Step number 4. When you are ready to sew, make sure to leave 30 cm of loose thread at the beginning and at the end of your garland. This will give you a little bit more room when you tie your garland. The secret of the chromatic garland is to overlap the circle to reveal the secondary colors. Leave a bit of space between the combination of three before adding the next one. Once you have sewed all your circle, pull an extra 30 centimeter out of the machine. Make knots on both ends, and there you have it. A chromatic garland. If you don't have a sewing machine, here's an alternative you can do with a standard hole punch. If you use the standard hole punch, you will need to perforate two holes in the upper part of each circle. Then weave your string or yarn through the circles. Now that you know how to use your sewing machine to sew pieces of paper together, the possibilities are endless and you can do a lot of creative crafts. And this is such a quick, you know, craft that you can do a lot of variation. Here is another example of what I did. This one is two-sided, so whether you hang it close to a wall or in the middle of a room, you're always gonna have a nice little colorful side. And get creative. Don't necessarily go and get brand new stacks of colorful paper in an art store. Try to find your own mix and match. Maybe you'll find some wrapping paper at home or you know some cutouts of magazine that could be interesting. You'll find all sorts of colorful prints and textures that can be used for a garland. This one is pretty long, so I won't completely unfold it because I'll, I'll get all tangled in it. But it really just shows you, don't be shy to be creative. It takes only a few minutes to make, and it's really fun and festive, and that's why I like this little craft.